Guys, let's revise on polymers uh, using this question, examination question. Then the question reads, um, The table below shows the structural formulae of various monomers and the polymers that can be made from them. So we can see the table, we have the monomer, we have ethene, tetrafluoroethene and then we have W there. Polymer, we have polyethene, polytetrafluoroethene, and then we have Y. Then they're saying identify the monomers which are hydrocarbons. This is good. Identify the monomers which are hydrocarbons. So the monomers hydrocarbons hydrocarbons are these are compounds made up of hydrogen carbon and hydrogen only so when you look at the monomer ethene when you look at the monomer ethene there is carbon and hydrogen only so you can say the first one is ethene the second one is Look at tetrafluoroethene, there is fluorine. Then the W, there is C and H only. So you can say and W. Since they have not told us to name what W, w is, so you can just say W. It's a hydrocarbon because there is only carbon. When you look at it, there's only carbon and hydrogen. Okay, question B. Name the monomer W. How can you know that this is this monomer? Remember that this uh, additional, these are additional polymers. Okay, and we always use alkenes or unsaturated hydrocarbons. So how can you know that this monomer is this or this? Let me show you something. So look at the structure. You have a double bond here, so it ends with the E N E. Then how many carbon atoms do we have? We have one, two, three. When you have three carbon atoms, then uh, hydrogen atoms, you have six. So C three H six. This is this is propene. Okay, this is propene. So you can say this is pro. Propene. Okay. Is propene. Then C. It's saying draw the displayed structure for polymer Y. The, the displayed structure of polymer Y, what you need to do is you draw you just draw this the way it is, but as a single bond, you just say carbon to carbon. Then you have hydrogen here, and here you have the CH3, okay? The way it is, here you have H, here you also have H. Single, this single bond makes it possible here for other monomers to join, even this side to join. Then write it like this, like this, then you put N. This N, this N represents number of monomers, like the way others are for poly, uh, polymer polyethene and polytetrafluoroethene okay and polytetrafluoroethene so this is the answer let's go to question d we are still under organic chemistry if i'm not mistaken yes we are still under organic chemistry so d d is saying d1 d1 Identify the common feature among the monomers in the table. Wow. So the common feature, when you look at the common feature, they all have the double bond. They all have the double bond. So you can say they all have the double carbon to carbon bond. Okay. 
they all have double carbon to carbon bond which is this one number um, oh it's the second one give the name of the compound with this feature the name of the compound compounds with this feature or the family with this feature double bond or uh, uh, the homologous series with this compound are alkenes Ao alkenes e that is d e d can can be cracked to produce hexane and butene explain the meaning of the word cracking the word cracking so they are just asking us to define cracking of hydrocarbons so you can define cracking as cracking is the breaking down is the breaking down of the breaking down of large hydrocarbons large is the breaking down of large this is n the breaking down of large hydrocarbons when i say hydrocarbons i mean compounds containing hydrogen and carbon hydrocarbon uh, carbon molecules to in two simpler in two simpler in two simpler molecules in two simpler let me just write like nice write nicely in two simpler and smaller molecules molecules and just an additional information just a bonus to you just to know that there are two types of cracking there is thermal cracking where you use heat thermal cracking and there is also a catalytic cracking catalytic uh, cracking where you use a catalyst okay these are the two types of cracking that's the that, those are the answers to this question let's look at another organic chemistry um oh there is another question uh, oh that's all seven marks so let's look at another examination question so that's these are the uh, these were, uh, are the answers to this question